Hey, milady. The new winter program is out. Thought I'd give you first look. Don't tell anyone. How's it going, everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. We have another exclusive car available over the next week. I like to do videos on these cars to help my younger viewers which struggle to do these races on such a high difficulty because that's usually the challenge you have to complete to unlock these exclusive cars week on week. This week I'm going to show you how to get the brand new 2017 Maserati Levante S. I believe that's how you pronounce it, if I'm wrong, whatever. But it's a big, beefy, modern Maserati which actually has pretty nice car sound to it, which is a change for Forza Horizon 4. And as always I urge you to get this car while you can because it's only going to be able to get this week, it's practically free to get and it's a pretty nice car to have. So the way you get this car is you complete a seasonal championship which is available this winter which started today and it's winter for the next week. So while it's winter you have access to this seasonal championship. If you look on your map you'll see one called the Quarry Cross Country Circuit. I have to say that really slowly, that's a tongue twister that is. But if you hover over that you'll see that there is a seasonal championship called the Snow Bowlers. It's basically a championship that has three races in them and you complete it in the Bowler EXR S. If you go to this championship you'll see that you have a list of three prizes, one of them being the Maserati, which you only get if you beat the driver tiles on expert difficulty. Now this may be easy for some but also hard for others, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you each race that you'll have to do in the championship for about 20 seconds, I'll just give you some very quick tips and tricks for each race to help you beat it on expert difficulty, and then after you do that you'll win the Maserati. So get the championship started, let's have a look at the first race and I'll give you some quick tips and tricks. We'll start with the sprint race real quick. Now the sprint race ends very quickly, it's a very short race, probably the shortest of them all, which means you have less time to get in front. However, with the bowler, don't use the brake so much. On the corners that are just slight bends and slight corners, just swing the back end now and slide around the corner. Instead of using your brakes, just slide around there, keep the speed up and you'll easily keep more speed than all the other driver tires. One of the key things for all of these free races is don't use your brakes as much, use the snow to your advantage. There's also little patches of water all over this sprint race as well. If there are, try to avoid them, try to go to the left or the right of the water, stay on more land than the driver tires and you'll manage to catch up to them. So overall, don't use your brakes as much on this sprint race, take the corners nice and quick and you'll be fine. On to the second race. The second race is a lapped race, three laps at the quarry. This one's also fairly easy as well. A few tips and tricks. As I said, don't use the brakes so much. Slide around the corners more so than braking with them. Keep your foot pinned down and also at every lap there's a jump that you can choose to go up or you can choose to go around. Do not go up it as you'll see on screen in a minute. The two driver tires in front of me went up the jump, I went around it and I managed to gain quite a, quite a good distance on them just for not using the jump and I actually overtook them as well. So don't use the jump, take the corners nice and quick and you'll be fine. Now the third and final race I had to do was also a three lapped race. Now with this one, believe it or not, you don't have to break at all for the entire race. You can easily do a lap without touching the brake pedal at all, unless you crash like I did once. <laughs> All you have to do at the most is let off the throttle a little bit. Mostly you can just get around the corners flat out, spin the back end out and cruise around there faster than all the other drive tires and you'll be absolutely fine. But it is quite easy and it is quite possible to do a complete lap in this without touching the brake pedal. But after you've done all three laps, hope the tips have helped. After you've done all three laps, you will unlock the Maserati as you'll see in a short second. We're going to have a look at the upgrades in it, take it for a quick drive, hear the sound of it and have a play. I'll have to mute this bit because of copyrighted music because I forgot to turn on streamer mode but after you've done all three races it will show all three stars light up because you did all three, the highest difficulty which was expert and then you'll get all three prizes including the Maserati Levante S, a wheel spin and I think 20,000 credits or something, nothing to really buzz off. But there you go, you'll have the Maserati added straight to your garage for free for completing these three very quick and easy races on Expert. So we're going to have a quick look at what upgrades you can do to this Maserati now and what it's like on the road. This car's pretty fast as standard but I decided to fully upgrade it with the standard engine. Um, I didn't bother looking at the engine swaps because who's going to engine swap this thing? You can slam it quite nicely, it makes it look pretty cool to be honest. And it comes out with just over 850 horsepower fully upgraded with the stock engine. 
and it sounds pretty nice out on the road. So for the rest of the video, I'm gonna have a couple minutes of the car driving around fully upgraded with the stock engine. It's quite a nice sound, so sit back and enjoy this Maserati, which you can now unlock for free for the next week because of winter. So I hope this video has been useful for everyone. Go and get this car while you can, because after a week from now, it's no longer going to be available to get. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later. Thank <laughs> you.